Some Nobel Prizes have been stolen, lost or sold off. But this is the story about the only ones that have been dissolved. Well, you cannot steal a Nobel Prize per se, of course, but you can steal the medal. Part of winning the Nobel Prize is being awarded a medal. It's made of 18 karat electrum, an alloy of silver and gold, and plated with 24 karat gold. When the National Socialists came to power in Germany in 1933, two German Nobel winners, James Frank and Max von Laue, did not want their Nobel medals to fall into the Nazis' hands. They entrusted their medals to Niels Bohr in Copenhagen, Denmark, even though bringing gold out of Germany was a capital offense. This instantly became a problem when Nazi Germany invaded Denmark on April 9, 1940. The invasion met with little resistance and was concluded the very next day. While German tanks were already rolling through the streets of Copenhagen, Niels Bohr and his student George de Hevesy were scrambling to get rid of the medals, which carry the name of the owner engraved on them. And if those were found by the Gestapo, this would mean a lot of trouble for everybody involved and the families. Run. Bohr and the Hevesy decided against hiding the medals or burying them, as they figured the Nazis would still find them. The Hevesy, a chemist, finally decided to chemically dissolve the gold medals in the only acid that could do that. Aqua regia or royal water, a mixture of hydrochloric acid with nitric acid. This was an excruciatingly slow process and must have taken the better part of a day. Remember, with the enemy already outside in the streets. When he was done, he put the inconspicuous flask with orange fluid simply on a shelf in a lab. The institute was searched a short time later, but nothing was found. If any of the soldiers had lifted the glass, they would have immediately figured out that something was wrong here because it still had the weight of gold. After the war, the Hevesy returned to Copenhagen and found the beaker still intact, innocently sitting on the shelf. He precipitated the gold out of the acid and it was sent off to the Nobel Foundation in Sweden, where the medals were recoined and presented to their previous owners, Frank and van Laue. Subscribe for more science stories.